More than free, it's here to help you make it. And welcome back at 614. If you want to get a jump on your spring cleaning, this morning we have some expert tips. It all begins with organization. And News 8 Austin's Amy Hadley joins us live from North Austin with more. It's not too early to start targeting the kiddos, right? That's right. Of course, the challenge with the kids is you think my closet's full. Try looking at a child's closet. So many toys, Angela. I'm sure as a parent of a two and a half year old, managing the toys because you know, they become the number one priority, the mm -hmm. child does, and so all the toys are important, but there's so many of them usually. That's right, that's right. So one of the main things that we want to really consider is <clears throat> making sure that you have containers for everything because the kid is going to want to have everything everywhere. So when you have containers to put things in, even if you're just using things like drawers, that's really good because you want to have them to have a spot to put everything. And they'll get really good as far as <laughs> putting things back, as long as you're training them from the start, they'll be a little bit better about knowing where things go and knowing that they have a sp specific place to go. It seems like that helps mom and dad and the kiddos. Exactly. And then at the end of the day or the end before they go take a nap, you can always do a, click, a quick cleanup, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is going to help mom and dad and the kid to kind of get into that habit. And it seems also that it, it's a really fast way. It is. To clean. It is. clean and up. you can do it usually in, you know, five or ten minutes. So Easy. I can handle that. Easy, easy. And as far as having, say, a small room space, check this out. This is so great. Yeah, this is a really great bed option. Again, if you have um, a vacation home or if you just have a small space, um, something like this is really great because the child will still have their play area during the day, but then in the um, night you can just pull the bed down real easily. I mean, we pulled it down very easily. Mm -hmm. It's not heavy at all. Get the bed down and then you can go ahead and use that, again, area as a space during the day and then as the bed at night. And one last thing that seems <coughs> important with the kiddos, as they grow, they're going to continue to get more and more toys. Exactly. So how do you manage the constant in, inflow of toys? Okay, so one thing that um, we like to talk about is having a giving plan and having, you know, making sure you're getting rid of things. When you have toys that have lots of parts or even just toys that aren't working anymore, you really want to make sure and figure out if that's something that um, needs to go. So as soon as you're missing pieces, as soon as the toy isn't working, then you really want to decide on whether you can let that toy go or not. Um, also, getting the child involved with the giving plan is, is a really great idea because the child then gets to give the toy to somebody else who needs it. So. That's right. Learns about organizing and purging and getting rid of exactly. things. Exactly. Todd, sounds like I'm doing pretty well then because when I get new things, I have a one in, one out rule. So I have really? to get rid of stuff. I, can, I have the hardest time getting rid of stuff. Well, I can help you. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> Beware, though. I'll come over and suggest you get rid of way more than you probably wanted to. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys.